Running and jogging is the best and the present on earth. It makes you feel better in the short term, but also equips you with the mental tools to see your problems in context. According to medical experts, once one is used to running and jogging once or twice a week, he or she no longer feel hopeless and solutions outweigh the difficulties he or she perceives in life. These men and women are government civil servants working with the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development. According to a government memo in progress, the Ghana government is in advanced stages to make running and jogging compulsory to all government civil servants every Friday. And here is, we should follow, we should be example to others and others will follow. Let's always be in the lead. The exercise too will not spare cabinet ministers. Minister Muruli Mukasa is the first minister to start the exercise before a binding cabinet white paper is made public to compel all civil servants for a Friday running and jogging exercise. An ant de prison is a chemical solution to a natural problem and once one stops taking ant de prison, then he or she, old mental alignments come back in force. They don't help you tackle your underlying problems. However, with running and jogging, helps one combat stress at work and home. Bijurimana tells me that once government makes these physical exercise compulsory, government civil servants will manage to escape the pressures of work and family life. Most government civil servants, more especially in the judiciary and state-owned media houses, often die of high blood pressure, emanating from the too much stress that come their way on a daily basis. The other class of government civil servants that die of high blood pressure are those implicated in corruption scandals. Many often collapse in courts of law when they are convicted, while others collapse in the course of investigations and before probe committees when they fail to account. Running and jogging can be the base remedy to salvage them from stress and depression. Timothy Sbassi, Television, Kampala.